what is going on everybody it's patrick back with another video and today you're in for a bit of a treat so most of the videos that i make for clay involve some sort of credit spend um, as in clay has a paid plan you're gonna have to buy credits to use it and ultimately you're gonna have to spend some sort of money if you want to drive meaningful results at scale however this video involves a completely free way to use clay and it is a way that I used to get two clients for my vintage clothing business. So I'm going to give you a little bit of background on what the problem was that I was facing, why I use clay to do it. So I run a small vintage clothing business and the problem that I've been facing recently is I also run a marketing agency, which takes up most of my time. So I'm having a hard time operating online because it just takes up so much time to package and ship and post all the items. So I decided, I'm going to start reaching out to small businesses around my area and ask if they'd be willing to put a rack of clothing in there for a revenue share. So this is a very local initiative. However, I was having trouble finding places on Google Maps that seemed worthy of reaching out to. And there wasn't really a way of programmatically mapping out all of these locations and getting their websites and reaching out to them online. So I decided I might as well use Clay for it. It's a very quick and easy method, and I'll show you how I imported all of the companies how I found their contact information and the template I used to reach out to them. And it's a super, super simple method. And shockingly, I sent 55 emails out. I got 24 responses and I ended up closing two clients. And so I believe that calculated out to around a 43% response rate. And the close rate for 55 emails, closing two clients, pretty solid. And it wasn't a super high ticket item, but it was still really important for the health of my business and I'm glad I did it. So without further ado, that's enough talking, let's get into it. Literally all I had to do was go to new table and I went to companies and then I went to find local businesses using Google Maps, clicked on that. All I had to do was type in something along the lines of record store because that was adjacent to the vintage clothing business I was running. I went to Brooklyn right around where I live and then I created a radius. We'll say I'll make it like this big, just to make sure I get all of the possible stores I'd like to reach out to. You can optionally put how many results you'd like to return. I wanted all of them. Continue, add new table, and just wait for the businesses to populate. So as you can see here, we have returned 181 businesses. And to get information on these companies, all you gotta do is click right here. We can map out their title into your clay page. We can map out their website, um, their address if you want. I didn't really need it. And all I did next was I'd click on their website. It's a bit more manual, however, it's free. And also I think manual outreach can be really helpful sometimes, especially if you're contacting a small amount of people just to make sure they actually respond. I just went to contact and boom, their email was right there. I was able to send out my sales prompt, which I'll show to you really quickly, very simple. And I ended up getting a lot of responses and a couple of people that were interested. I think it's a lot easier to get local businesses to respond because they're not getting this super high volume of sales emails. A lot of these businesses are just people running passion projects or doing something they love. And so if you give them an offer that seems pretty fair, I think you have a much higher likelihood of getting a response from them. So anyway, I'll show you my prompt real quick. All right. So here is the email conversation between me and one of the people I ultimately closed. All I did was just say, hey, Brooklyn Record Exchange, I run a small vintage clothing store. I wanted to see if you'd be interested in allowing us to put a small market clothes in your store for a share of the revenue. We provide the rack, the clothes, and easy payment setup, and you get 20% of all the revenue, any interest. So really simple. I didn't even customize it for any of these businesses, really, unless I really liked something about their website or something that, that, that really stood out to me. But I really didn't put too much effort into customization here. Um, I figured I'd just hit them with the deal and um, hope that they liked it. So yeah, again, pretty simple. Hopefully this is somewhat helpful to you and it's a really nice free clay use case that you can do right now without paying any money at all. So hopefully this is helpful and uh, happy prospecting.